Hey guys, welcome back to Daily Duel. So today is Tuesday, and that means that we're using Satellar Knights. Yes, we are. So hopefully this goes fine. This, this up in your hands not too bad, actually. I'm just gonna take it chill, so of course we're gonna go ahead and search as the neb. So using the fun Teller Knight deck that I'm planning on making in real life, just for, you know, a fun deck to use. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and search the Altair. I'm gonna use the Kage later. Uh, not right now. Kage is not right now. So, I'm just gonna suck this and pass. He probably thinks it's a Nova. <laughs> uh, that'd be funny if he's just like, it's a Nova! <laughs> like, no, it's not a Nova. It's a... Hello, what was that? Splendid Venus. Okay. Let's try it again. Okay. Anyway. Uh, so I got some things to talk about. Another Splendid Venus. Hmm. Splendid Venus trade in, Splendid Venus trade in. Like, alright, now that you what is this, an Exodia deck? A weird Exodia deck. Alright, hello. Another magical melon. Uh, you neg every time you play magical melon, so I'm not even salty. I'm gonna be kinda ticked off if he doesn't get what he wants and then quit, so I'm gonna be pretty mad about that, but this is an Exodia deck. You know, you couldn't think of any better level 8 than Splendid Venus to run. Wow. My opponent here decides to take this duel extremely slow. Like, I was kind of banking on you killing my, uh... My, uh, the Neb, but... Okay. Anyway, as you guys can tell by the title, uh... Of course, you guys know that, um... The first episode of Graffiti Kingdom went up, and... I knew it, I knew it! He wasn't gonna get what he needed, and he's gonna quit! I hate when people do that! Ah, uh, be right back! Alright, let's actually try to get a duel in here and not just, you know, our opponent just straight up quitting like that. So, I'll go ahead and go first. Alright, hands not too terrible. Go ahead and Rota. Well, of course, Deneb. Some Deneb, Sir Charles Tyre, set the Nova, because this time it's actually Nova. Anyway, like I said, you guys are probably, uh, you know, knowing what's up with that. So, the reason why I'm asking uh, if you you know, about Binding of Isaac is because I'm wondering if you guys would like that instead of Graffiti Kingdom, because but when I was sitting down and really thinking about it, like, Graffiti Kingdom is fine and all, but I'm just not really sure if that's, you know, the kind of game that you want to play for a series, you know. The game is kind of slow, the, the cutscenes, like I said, it's a video game, it's not really, uh... Alright, so what does this do? This one goes in the... Send one to the gate activation if you do destroy that card, and then draw one card. So you're gonna pitch your gun to summon. No, that's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna hit you now. Now I'm gonna hit you with another. Just so I can get my draw. That's what I wanted. I wanted my draw. <laughs> like, nah, you can you can go neg. Like, pitch your tia, get your tias and your gun, not get your search effect. Like, nah, you can neg. I like when you neg. <laughs> ah, anyway, so, uh, of course, there's a game called uh, Binding of Isaac, and it's recently got a remake, a uh, new game called Binding of Isaac Rebirth. You might have seen it. Uh, I think Game Grumps did a couple episodes, even though they like, suck at it. But, like, I can talk, because I suck at the game, too. Um, and, uh, my effect, I put my effect, alright, so... Since I know this is my melt, this is probably a sphere, and this is probably Lind. <laughs> so that should be fun. So Deneb, go ahead and search me for another Altair. That's a serious though. Why so serious? Alright, I'm actually gonna go for Oh wait, I can't. I can't go for a tree hero, because it has to be all time monster, so I'll just go for Delta Rose. Delteros! <laughs> Alright. Delteros. I'll go ahead and detach the... Uh... The uh, nap. No. Off your back row. Go ahead and chain your sphere. I know it's sphere, so go ahead and play it. So I'm planning on taking, taking you out right now, so go ahead and play your sphere. Sphere? Sphere? Chain sphere? Oh, Book of Moon. Why don't you play it? Because you couldn't respond to my play at the time, I guess? Huh? Uh, I don't know. Alright. 
Zartaros, go ahead and kill his uh, Lind. Lind, go ahead and summon. You can have that. Not even, not even what I'm mad at. But Book of Moon, though. That was curious. I know you can't respond to when I'm summoned, but you could have chained to my effect. But I guess you really wanted me to kill your Lind, because if you want to split me, then I want to kill your Lind. I know Marmels, they were on daily duels. They're the de lo uh, longest deck on daily duels, compared to the shortest deck on daily duels, Noble Knights. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. You know, you guys might have seen it, but I know I have rebirth. So I'm thinking about maybe doing that. Uh, the thing is, before, if you were if you're recently new to the channel and you haven't been here at the beginning, I actually tried to do Binding of Isaac, the original, on my channel, and I was super unlucky in that game, and I wasn't that good, and the series didn't. It flopped pretty hard. So you know, I'm not, I wasn't really used to the controls. The controls weren't the best for me. So who are you pitching? So you. You're gonna pitch a, a TS and get a what? A Lind? Another Lind? You open up with two TSs and you're just pitching your TSs. Like, do I need to teach you how to use Mermos? Like, hello? You don't pitch TS. You don't pitch TS. Alright, Undyne. Join it's Undyne. Alright, that's fine. I'm gonna set two springs and uh, pass my turn. You don't, you don't set. You know I mean? You don't. Pitch Tears. No! Tears is the best monster in the deck. Hell no. Alright, so you're gonna summon uh Genex Undyne. And Genex Undyne send uh I don't know, Marksman Infantry, pop my monster, pop my back row. Is that what you're gonna do? Yeah, you need me to teach you that. Oh no, you're just gonna send title. No, that's cool. Get yourself a Gen X controller, that's fine. Now what? You got a level 7 in your hand, you gonna summon like a Megalo, pitch 2, summon, summon back the title, make a 101, take me? Hey? Right? Mm hmm? Yeah, you're gonna summon the title. Oh, the title's strong enough to just run me over. That's fine. Nah, that's cool. You can have that, don't you know what I'm mad at? Go ahead. Come on. Come on. Come at me, bro. Nah, that's cool. Hell yeah. Who do I want? Who do I want? I want... I want to do that for my deck. That from my deck makes me happy. Give me a beggar. <sighs> this duel's gonna be super tedious for this guy. Nah, that's cool. You can have that, don't know what I'm mad at. I've got that, that what I'm mad at. Nope, I'm good. Actually, I could have blocked that. Eh, it's cool. It's cool. I'm cool. I'm chill. Alright. Oasis. Not bad for me. If you, if you would so kindly. I would like to have my beater back. I want my beater back, beater back, beater back, beater back, beater back, beater back. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Hello. <laughs> I haven't way too much fun today. All right, you summon you. You summon you. And now that Sirius is looking extra fine right now, because I'm I'm literally gonna run out of uh, targets here. Give me you. I could go for a tree hero, but what's the point? Really? What's the point? Nope. Not a Dallas Ross. Delta Rose! Oh. Alright, Delta Rose. Go ahead and pop this. Nope, no, you're just gonna quit. Alright, I was gonna pop. I was gonna summon BLS, banish the title, because once you get rid of title, Mermos are done, and then this. Well, these only these two attack, so attack and then attack directly. Clearly, I was gonna out resource him, so he just decided to squap squ it up. Oh, and then equip my Alpha to my Delta Rose. And then it'd be awesome. Alright, we'll get another duel in Pokemon. This deck is working fine. I can't wait to make this deck in real life. Alright, we are back. Alright, we're back. Now let me quickly just go ahead and tell you guys about my Monday. So Monday my Mondays, of course, I have um uh, my education class in women's literature. So my uh my education class, we're still working on presentations, still 
still, still. You know, we have 25 students, and literally, we've been doing like three students a day. So, you know, even the teacher was like, yeah, we're gonna have to like, you know, push back some of these, uh, uh, cut some of this, push it back. Oh, it's Gadget. Oh, this would be a good duel, because we're gonna be trying to resource each other, but he has back row and I don't, so. But this should be a good duel if everything goes correctly. You can get yourself another goldfish. You just can grab the goldfish right You can select the target if there's no other targets in the graveyard. That seems dumb. It seems like this, you should have to have something else in the graveyard to resolve that effect, but... I don't know. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I go summon Altair, Altair, bring back the Neb. So I'll be, this goes to one on, so I'll still be one, two, three, four, five, six. So if I go summon Altair, Altair, summon the Neb, and then search, I would have one, and then see, I have one, Two, three, four, five, six, and then whatever I search is seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we'd be even. So there's no point in doing that play. What if I, what if I do this? What if I one for one with the tournament warrior returning alive? Summon Deneb, Deneb search, summon Kage, XC, and then have Exiton. I have one, two, three, four, five, and then whatever I search with Deneb. But yeah, that'll work. That'd be. That'll totally work. If I can get the Exiton play off, of course, because if I can't, then we're in some deep shit, because, you know. Yes, yes. So you got some back row, so that's what I'm worried about right now. I know how the deck works, you're pretty much just gonna try to back row the shit out of me and out resource me, so that's what I'm worried about right now, but we're gonna go for the Exiton play. Hopefully you got something to stop it. Response. Break your skill. Finish chain. Something. No, you got something. You gotta have something. Wow. All right. What was that? X user born MST and spirit barrier. Okay. Didn't see that coming. Nah. Whatever. Not my problem. All right. Go ahead. So, have I presented yet? No. I'm planning on presenting this upcoming Wednesday. I'm going to use Tuesday, Veterans Day, the day off to work on my project a lot. So, you know, when I go ahead and do my, uh, video for, uh, for, uh, now I know that he's not really running any threatening back row. So, that's okay. So, that means I feel a little bit more comfortable with that. Another good guy in X. So you're just going to keep on doing that same play over and over again, aren't you? Grab the gold, grab the, what you grabbing back. Gadget? No, you're gonna search for a goldfish this time. Okay. You're just doing the same play over and over and over and over and over and over and over the sky. Okay. All right. What do I want to do? You. Yes. You. Yes. I mean you. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I mean, search for you. Doctor Rose or, or Trivial? Trivial. Yeah. Go for Trivial. Trivial. Everything back. Trivial effect. Let me get something out of your hand. You didn't need that, right? And I'm out resourcing gadgets. Look at that. Out resourcing gadgets. And then he quits! Yep, that's right. That's right. Ah. Uh, uh, one more duel. One more duel. Alright, we are back. Alright, we're back and we're going off against Fuck Off News, so. It's a nice name. Ew. This deck is, I mean, uh, this deck. This hand is disgusting. This hand is disgusting. Set this and take it slow. I need a nap. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> we might be able to do something. Alright, you're just gonna throw the MST at me? Sure. 
he must have been really scared. He must be about to go up with his play, so he didn't want me to hinder him. So that's fine. So if push comes to shove, we can we can go summon all we can go insta fusion summon Altair, Butter Spy, XC into Deltaro, so That seems like exactly what I'm gonna do. Yep, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Especially since I drew the Nova. So I'll go ahead and pay my thousand. Summon my dragon. Summon my Altair. Summon my Butter Spy. And he quits! And he fucking quits! Come on, I don't even have a good hand. Whatever. I'm gonna end it. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna. I'm done dueling. Let me finish talking. So, yeah, I'm planning on presenting my project on Wednesday. I really wasn't paying attention to people's presentations today. I was very rude. I was looking at my calculus somewhere, so. Very, very rude of me, but. Eh. I don't care. Your, person, your presentation is boring. My presentation is going to be boring. The whole process of this presentation is boring. So, whatever. Uh, anyway, I actually got to chill with um, with Amish Girl today. And surprise, surprise, you know, I've been calling her Amish Girl. She actually has a cell phone now. You know, her parents actually decided to give her a cell phone. So I'm like, oh, cool, you got a cell phone. And I'm like, all right, let me give, me, uh, you know, give me your number. And she's like, nope. And I'm like, oh, fine. All right, then. Yeah. Like, I, I don't like texting or calling, and so what's the point of having a fucking phone? Like, hello? Like, fine, alright, fine. I don't want your fucking number anyway, you know? I don't want to keep in contact with you after this class is over. Me? Once again, you yeah. know. Oh well, I don't care. Like, seriously, I really don't care. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, in, uh, women's literature, we were watching another movie. We didn't get our essays back. Our last essay is done, but we were watching another movie, still about the wise woman. So, you know, but pretty much we were watching another movie about uh, a mother and her son, and her son likes death and killing himself. So literally, the movie begins like him faking, uh, you know, uh, hanging himself, and then he cut, and then he fakes cutting himself up and bleeding to death, and. You know, he, he just loves faking killing himself, setting himself on fire, and he, he, it's for fun, he goes to funerals, and he drives a hearse, and really, it's just like a really weird movie, so, yeah. But it's supposed to show us about the wise woman, about how the wise woman accepts death, and like, you know, other feminine archetypes like that, so, I don't know. Anyway, weird. No, that's pretty much, that's literally all my Monday was, so, of course, Tuesday, Veterans Day, so I get Tuesday off, yay! So, of course, I guess I'll be telling, telling all of you, all Wednesday, I'll tell you guys about my Tuesday, which literally, since I don't have school, I'll pretty much just be telling you guys about how my project's going, I guess. So, um, yeah, if you guys could go ahead, do me two favors. The first favor, watch Graffiti Kingdom. If you have not watched Graffiti Kingdom already, watch the first episode. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, Dislike it. Like, uh, usually I say, hey, don't dislike my videos, but if you don't like Graffiti Kingdom, if it's not your cup of tea, dislike it to inform me, like, hey, I don't like this, I will not be watching this series on your channel, no. And off of that, if you don't like it, then in the comment section, go ahead and tell me. Also, in the comment section, be like, hey, if you're going to do Binding of Isaac Rebirth, I will watch that series. So, go ahead and comment that. Alright, so... If you guys can go ahead and do me those two favors, we can go ahead and get this whole uh, replacement of Nightmare Tower cleared out. Alright, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of uh, Daily Duels. This deck is working out fine. Like, it's been having a lot of fun with it, so I'm going to go ahead and make it in real life soon. I have the majority, I have the extensive cards, mostly. I just got to pick up, like, just the, you know, the, the other things, you know? I have the Denebs, I have the Novas, I have the Deltaroses, I just need Trivio, and then the rest of the deck. And I can make it, and it'll be my fun deck. You know, my not competitive fun deck to play with friends when, you know, because of course they don't want to go against my Constellars, because my Constellars are just bleh, you know. Don't want to go against my Evil Swarms, that's competitive, and my deck is also bleh. Um, Yubel is still under construction, like I said, with the whole, after I'm done testing out uh, Zombie Vice, we'll go ahead and maybe try making that deck. And, and especially if Unizombie is really good in that deck, then of course Unizombie doesn't come out to the next set, so then I gotta wait for that. So. Temporarily, I'd probably just make the the one without Unizombie, with uh, with the Butter Spies and stuff like that. The one that was used uh, uh, yesterday for Vitamin Wine on, on Zombie Life, used that deck. The one I wanna I used against Madara, and start building that deck. And if that's really the case, and that sucks because I have a miscut 
uh, Doom Shaman, and I won't be using it, and I paid like a lot of money for it. I think I paid like 20 bucks for it, and it sucks, because literally when I went to, uh, to the regionals in Vegas, uh, there's vendors there, and then one of the vendors came up and he was like, you want this, look, he's like, look at this miscut card, and it was Doom Shaman, and he miscut, and I was like, if it's any other monster, but, and it was super rare, and you know, I like super rare over ultimate rare, and the ones that I have, my Doom Shaman I have in my deck currently is ultimate rare, well, at that time, it was ultimate rare, and I'm just like, super rare Doom Shaman miscut, I only run one Doom Shaman, and it, it looks like I, I gotta get it, so I ended up getting it, so, it kind of sucks if that if Zombies license version and other Yubai deck we go with, because, of course, um, we won't be running Doom Shaman, and, you know, I guess I'll just go ahead and take that card and put it somewhere. Put it somewhere, I don't know. Maybe put it in my wallet and carry it around with me. But, uh, yeah. So, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call it up, so I hope that you guys enjoyed. So, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow using, um, Hermit Yokai. And, uh, talking about my Tuesday, which, of course, is Veterans Day. So, yeah. Alright, thanks for watching.